Hello again, my lovely creators. Rebecca here, and welcome back to another Brutus Monroe Design Team layout. So today I am going to be creating a fun layout. <laughs> Lost train of thought um, to document. Uh, we went to Georgia at the end of 2021. My brother got married, and here is myself, my mom, and my sister. I do not like looking at these photos, but I'm going to document them. And um, I think this is also something good that I would like to share. I had put on some weight, kind of a lot, um, in 2021. I have since lost about 20 pounds, and I have 20 more to go. But and I don't like looking at them because I, I don't like the way I look. But I still think it is important that we need to learn to love ourselves for who we are, right? And um, this is these are very, I mean, they're kind of all the same with a little bit of a tweak, so I'm going to put them all on the same layout. But I do want to remember this later on in life when, you know, God forbid, my mom is no longer here. And, you know, maybe my sister after I'm here because my sister is 10 years younger than me, so... She might want some of these when she's older as well, so we can remember these times we had together. So, old old Becky would have just thrown these away and been like, no, or I would have cut myself out. Um, but we're not going to do that. We're going to document them. And I'm going to document them using some velveteen glaze. We have some cherry tomato and midnight indigo. Um, we're going to use this brand new August stencil, which is called Berry Basket, and here is the Brutus Monroe SKU number, BRU8446, if you would like to pick this up. Very versatile. We're going to do some fun stuff. I also have the August Stamp, which is just for you, and it is BRU9258. And we've got this so cute strawberry with the little whipped cream. We've got a leaf, and then just for you is the same. And I also have this stamp scent stamp set, wow, apologize, called Strawberry Social, so we have all kinds of fun strawberries and like little vines, and we can make our own strawberry, which is kind of cool with the topping, you can either have, make it have a topping or make it dipped, which is fabulous, and we have wishing you the very best, thank you, so very kind of you, and hope your day is simply, or hope your day is simply delicious. And it's BRU9265, and that is also from the August release. So I've just pulled in some, and um, this is the, the kit that I'm using, is the Paige Evans um, Wonders Collection. So I'm going to do mostly mixed media, but I'm going to trim these guys down and mat them in these two papers. I may not mat it in this one, I just kind of had it sitting there, but I know I'm definitely going to mat it with this one to pull in these two colors. So now this sheet, as you're going to see as soon as I flip it over, is also from that collection. It's from the paper pad. But when they are too busy for me, I can't cut it down. I will turn them over and use them as white cardstock. Alright. So I'm going to do the border in the velveteen glaze, so we're just going to kind of like stick it here and then do a messy border, let it dry, and then match it up in a different color all the way around. It's one of my most favorite, favoritest things to do, but I haven't done one in a while, so... Need to make sure I get all this stuff out of the way. And let's start with the blue. Now, Velveteen Glaze, um, when it dries, it dries completely matte. So now I have a fair amount on there, so that's too much actually. Let's just cut that down. And I put this on just like I put on uh, Chroma Glaze. So we're going for the messy look. Whoa. And I just want to make sure that all the areas around the edge 
that need to be covered are going to be covered. And the good thing about these type of stencils is they match up nicely. So once we come in like this, and I always clean it off, put the lid back on there. We're just going to pull this up, boom, and I'm going to pull it aside because then I usually just do this because that's a lot of product sitting on there as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, I'll let this dry, and I'm going to do alternating, you know, figure it out somehow, right? Maybe I won't, maybe I'll just keep the blue, but I will uh, line it up because you'll be able to match it back up so it'll be a continuous flow all the way around. So I will be back when this is done and dry. We're all dry. So I did kind of like a whoop whoop, right? So I'm going to go ahead and my photos, I'm going to kind of line like this. So we've got to get them trimmed down and matted. Whoa, still a little wet, not going to lie. <laughs> so we're just going to trim these down. We're going to make them um, four. And we're going to go ahead and trim off a lot of my arm and my sister's arm. So four by threes. And then we'll get them added. I do hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It's very, whoa, almost messed that up. It's been very hot. It feels like, oh, 110 out apparently today. Who doesn't love the Midwest in the summertime? People that live in the Midwest in the summertime. I'm going to go ahead and mat them on this fun paper. And I'll get that cut out. I'm going to get a couple things done. And then we will come back and do a little bit of a checkup. So I pulled in lots of pink, right? So the blue is just popping out. I did take this fabulous stamp set and took the vine and kind of added a little interest behind my photos. Um, I am going to pop in a few of these clear gems just to give a little bit more here and there, right? Just to jazz it up. Because that's, that's what we like to see. So I'm just popping those around. Give it just a little bit. We're going to make a little trail for the butterflies. I like to always make the butterfly trail <clears throat> as well, excuse me. Alright, and then we're going to mat this entire thing on some black cardstock. So have you guys picked up these stamp sets yet or these stencils? I recommend. They are very versatile. I cannot wait. To try. I've got another design that I want to try on this stencil. Cannot wait to try it. So we are going to get this plopped down. I like the use of the two different colors of velveteen, and as you can see, as soon as I get this stuck down, that it dries matte. So instead of shiny, it's got a very nice matte. I like the way that it kind of printed in this little area, so that's why I kind of left the blue. This could also be used, like, for a manly one, because this does kind of remind me of diamond plates. Is that you? Like the steel diamond plating? But yeah, so don't forget to check everything else out. I'll have some links down below for you. Pick up some velveteen glaze and the stamp and stencil. 
and uh, I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.